Okay guys, this week the Australian adventure begins. After spending the last month building out this guy into the ultimate off-grid camper, it's time to explore this country. And so far, Australia has blown our minds. Australia has absolutely broken me. I'm speechless. I think our road trip's over. Day one and we're lost. We're actually lost though. You see it? Guys, <laughs> going for a midnight hike in the rainforest was a stupid <laughs> idea. So buckle up guys, because this is going to be the road trip of a lifetime. in a forest in Australia <laughs> it feels so damn good to say that we're on the road yeah so happy so we left Melbourne yesterday and we only drove like two hours <laughs> I, so we're, we're technically probably still in Melbourne <laughs> we are super excited to go explore we did get like a sneak peek of the beaches on the way down we also seen a kangaroo <laughs> hey buddy there's a kangaroo in the middle of the path <gasps> he's pointing away But before we can explore anything, we need to pack this bed away and we need to make some coffee. <laughs> We're on the road! <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys, all those people who say that making the bed every day is not annoying and it's totally chill, they're liars. <laughs> they're psychopaths. It does only take like less than five minutes, it's not a big deal. But it's just like, I just want my coffee, you know? We've had our first van casualty. The first thing that's went wrong. What? I don't know what it is. Oh! He's become a placemat, the way it was designed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but he will go back up there soon. I'm just going to hazard a guess and say that that's not going to be the only van casualty we're going to have. I'm pretty sure as soon as we go to anywhere with any hotter weather, all of these things are just going to be melted off the wall. Can I just say, <laughs> look how cute my new mug is. Um, we had to get Kili a sippy cup. Yeah guys, yesterday, first thing I did when I woke up was spill a cup of coffee all over our bed. So we immediately had to go get one that had a lid on it because I can't be trusted in a small van. <laughs> That's cute. Guys, I know the weather's a bit crap today, but it is nice to be able to bring... Oi! Keep it down, kind of film. Man, these birds are noisy. <laughs> oh yeah, guys! Guys, 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 guys. I know we already said about the kangaroo, but when we got here yesterday and we went for a walk, Did I just got, I got so emotional, guys. I'll just cut back because it was just so special. We literally got out of this park up and I took like three steps and started crying because it's like it's so cool. Like a big red parrot swooped down. <laughs> it's not like you to be emotional. No, but I've been like really stressed lately, so this feels like such a massive relief. And like we're actually in Australia on the drive down here, two kangaroos hopped in front of the van. I'm just so happy and I'm so grateful and it we're doing it, man. All of this effort, this friggin' van, everything was for the car the carrot. The carrot. The carrot and the pangaroo. I'm so happy that we did this for the carrots. <laughs> and the pangaroos. And the pangaroos. <laughs> Those pesky pangaroos. Yeah, I know parrots might be totally normal to Australians, but seeing a big red bird and all the multicolored things that we're seeing and kangaroos is just it's not normal for us guys and Philly was like, we've seen five kangaroos already but when you see them spring, I'm like, there is no way you ever get bored of watching those things hop around like, <laughs> they don't even look real Our van is so cute Like look at it with its wee on and out and all guys, so cute I'm living in hope of more kangaroos. <laughs> yeah, guys, we took a, a little walk down this path last night and oh, it's just so 
good to be in nature. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it feels like so good for for my soul. We've just seen like three big grey kangaroos. We barely have a chance to look at them and they're gone. This oh, is so, so cool. <laughs> this is so cool. We're in Australia. There's kangaroos like in the wild, like just here. That's incredible. That is incredible. This is actually a free camping area and that's one of the reasons we chose to come here because we just wanted to slow down and readjust after a manic month. I think we're just going to spend the next few days just trying to get accustomed to full-time van life again. Yeah. <laughs> not having running water, not having a porcelain throne, <laughs> not having internet. Guys, there's no internet here whatsoever. I'm glad we're starting in the forest instead of starting by the coast. This feels like much more wild. Nature's friggin' awesome, guys. Let's keep walking, because I'm getting cramp in my legs. <laughs> guys, coming from the UK, our wildlife is just cattle. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very wild. But we did see reindeers in Scotland. That was magical. And dolphins. That was pretty... Okay, Scotland was awesome. Northern Ireland doesn't really have that much. <laughs> Sheep. <laughs> Cows. Yeah. In a farm. Let's get Where'd over. Where'd it go? It's over there. It's over there. Guys, I swear, I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park. Right Honestly, now. we need to get a book so we can identify these animals because right now we're just like calling everything parrots. <laughs> Look at that parrot. That's a kangaroo keely. He knows I came to see him and then laughed at me when I couldn't find him and turned around. Forget the coast. Come into this park. It's freaking sick. I'm very happy to be here. But obviously also we're going to go to the coast. But right now I'm just loving it. <laughs> we're in Australia in our van and there's kangaroos all around me. <laughs> Guys, we're lost. We're not lost. Oh, well, well, actually, we are lost, but that's beside the point. I asked to turn the camera on. We just realized that we have no idea what we do if we've got bit. I was like, I think you suck the venom out, tourniquet it, and like stop the blood. Um, so, we're going to go research that. But I wanted to ask all you Aussies out there, any Australians that are watching, any tips of survival would be greatly appreciated. Any books that you think are worth having to identify animals. We want to learn, we want to know. So in the comments, tell us anything and everything. And uh, we're very excited to explore Australia and hopefully not die. <laughs> Those boots are a good start. Yeah, these are the only shoes I have. Well, at least I changed from my sandals. But as Philly said, we actually are lost but we're on a path, so I'm kind of hoping it brings us back. And that's what happens when you go chasing white birds. Okay. Where to? That way? Is this a different road? I think so. Back through that forest, but you think up there, we're actually lost though? I feel like it's still this direction. Yeah. Yeah? It's pretty easy to lose your way, to be fair. Like all these charred trees and like fresh shrubbery all looks the same. Guys, day one in Australia and we're lost <laughs> in the bush. <laughs> we're idiots. If you see this as found footage, I'll eat you first. It's okay, it's more to eat. <laughs> Dead ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. 60 seconds ago, we were both like, shit, we're actually really lost, like starting to get a bit worried. But we've just come up around this corner and I'm pretty sure that's the toilets at our campsite. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> we're okay. <laughs> Wasn't even worried. I knew where we were the whole time. <laughs> you did yeah, not. I did. I got you. I got you. Kelly was like, Keely, but we didn't cross a road. What are we doing now? Um, another coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Garlic. Ooh, I had garlic in my hand. Ooh, that wasn't my problem. <laughs> You've lost your touch. Honestly, making our own coffee. Such a vibe. Alright guys, we're packing up. We're almost ready to go. Let's see if we can take this awning down. So what do we do first? I think legs up. I flipping love having an awning. Look at that. Flawless. <laughs> That's so cool. Let's go. No way. Guys, we were literally just about to leave. 
A kookaburra was like one of the things that I had on my list that we haven't written yet, but we're going to write a list of animals that we want to see. And kookaburra was on mine. Ah, <laughs> so good. I am so chuffed. Okay, yes, we need to write a list of animals that we want to see. Yeah. Cross kookaburra off. Don't need to see any more of those. Seen one, <laughs> seen them all. word so this place is called point addis and it's one of the first stops on the great ocean road if you're coming from melbourne mm -hmm. uh, there's another couple of beaches that we passed just before then but guys this is so beautiful here how beautiful is this so beautiful Guys, this is incredible. So apparently there's a, a cultural walk down here that you can do. It's like two kilometers, a kilometer there and back. Let's go educate ourselves, guys. Get educated. I was just thinking about this. I really want to find a nude beach in Australia and be free in nature. Your mind's in the gutter. Not right now, but I'm taking this as a literal sign that that's going to happen. <laughs> okay. Okay, contrary to the fact that it's very windy, so it's kind of cold, it's also really sunny and I feel myself getting burnt. So we are much better prepared than we were this morning. We've got water, we've got sun lotion, we've even brought our phones. You had a breath? I um, I thought this was a nice straight flat road. Turns out it's a hike. You guys know I'm not a fan. Guys, don't look too close. You can see the starting point right there. Shut up, Philly. It's been at least three minutes. <laughs> we should try and survive some night in the wild. That'd be fun. Where we'll you have go? to build a tree hut. I'll be in the van. No, you won't. You'll be in my fort with me, getting eaten by spiders and snakes. Ooh. I mean, we read not to sit. There's a seat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Check it out if you look closely, you can see Dingo at, at the end of the point. And you can see that whole track that we've, we've just done, the massive whopping one kilometer <laughs> track. That was fun. Yeah, it was. It kind of blows off the dust after being in a warehouse for the last two or three weeks. <laughs> Excuse me, this is my second walk of the day. Oh, that was a fun little excursion. Yes, it was. Apparently you can see wild echidnas here as well. Oh, so in dawn and dusk. Oh, Let's get out of our list, guys. We're gonna write the list when we get back to the van of animals. Yeah, hundred percent. But this was fun to like read about all the like native plants and animals and a little bit about culture. But I will admit, I want to learn a lot more about the indigenous culture in Australia. So we're definitely gonna have to look up some tours or something because I just think it'd be so nice to learn. Yeah. You know. I agree. But right now we're gonna go back to the van and. Um, I need a snack. <laughs> also remind me next time to bring my mosquito net because oh, yeah. the flies just want to mate on my face. <laughs> Apparently it's just going to get worse. Oh, you suck. Oh my god, Philly, there's a koala, 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 there's a koala. Actually, Philly, there's a koala. There's no way. Oh 
Oh my goodness gracious me. <laughs> Guys, our van is parked under a tree with wild, wild koala bears in that tree right above our van. <laughs> Take it off the list. <laughs> this is even better than the dolphins. There's a baby koala eating eucalyptus. <laughs> Nature is so insane. Philly, so what? Koala baby. <laughs> I'm speechless. Um, Philly, right there. This is Keely. This is her fan. They are wild koalas. It's just so special. <laughs> Guys, I know I said Scotland broke me, but Australia's broken me. Australia has absolutely broken me. We have seen so much nature. I need to go for a walk and calm down because there's other people here and they must think I'm nuts. <laughs> You're gonna give yourself a heart attack. <laughs> this is day one on the Great Ocean Road and we have seen so insane much. amount. I just feel so lucky. Like, we're just looking around at all these other trees. Like, them koalas could have been in any tree in this huge forest. And they're on the tree right above our van. I called them on the way down here. <laughs> they just came out for you. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm so happy. Guys, this is awesome. Unbelievable. I think we're gonna... I'm gonna eat some leftovers. Yeah. I'm gonna get into bed and I'm just gonna... Just dream about koalas. Moment, yeah. Man, I cannot wait to see what we see tomorrow. <laughs> Okay guys, when we first got to Australia, I told you a story about one of yous who had had their phone remotely hacked and the hackers had transferred all their money out of their bank account to their international account and out to their own hackers account. And guys, I wish it was a happy ending, but we've just found out that the financial ombudsmen, whoever they are, said there's literally nothing we can do. There's no way to prove it wasn't you because it was all done through your phone and their money is completely gone. And stories like this are why I'm so grateful that NordVPN are sponsoring this video because guys, we really need to start protecting ourselves. So we've been using a VPN for over three years, mostly because when we were traveling, we wanted to move our IP and make it look like we were back in our home country to get access to the TV shows we liked, or if we wanted to book cheaper flights from Romania or somewhere like that. And we used it mostly for the traveling masking IP thing. Now, once we know somebody who's been impacted by cybercrime personally, more than ever, we've realized it is so, so important to be using it for security. So whenever you turn on NordVPN, you're effectively putting the middleman between you and whatever it is you're connecting to. And it's gonna encrypt all of your data, it's gonna mask your IP, and it's basically a necessary way now, apparently in this world, that we need to start protecting ourselves. Because since this story, I've had NordVPN turned on on my phone every single day. So if you're interested in protecting yourself, you can click our link down below, go to nordvpn.com forward slash chapter. If you sign up for the two year plan, you get four months for free. So please go protect yourselves. And thank you so much NordVPN for sponsoring this video and protecting us. We are very grateful. What a place to wake up. I know, this tree is so beautiful. Are you making me coffee? <laughs> Spoiled. I know. There is what sounds like a wild pig or a boar or something around the van. Like at first I thought it was a motorbike because it was so loud and ob obnoxious. Do you want to do an impersonation? It was like <laughs> like that. <laughs> Hi. 
Healing? What? That wild boar sound? Yeah. Is a koala. What? They make that noise? They make that noise. How did you figure that out? I found one. That means they were all around our van last night. Billy, I need a night cam. I need night vision goggles. <laughs> Wow! I just feel so lucky, lucky. to be here. Yes. <laughs> you see it? Philly, for a second I thought it was a cat. That's how close it is. Oh! Koalas are officially an endangered species now. They have like decreased in numbers so much, even in the last few years. Like... How cool uh, is this? Philly, look at Get over there! <laughs> There's another one up there. There's another one at the end of the branch. There's another one up there. Billy, there's another one there. Billy, there's another one beside him. Billy, there's another one right beside him. I didn't see him in the trees. Oh, yeah, he's camouflaged. What? They're peppered everywhere. Oh. <laughs> Guys, and this eucalyptus forest smells great. Oh, my goodness, Philly. He's gorgeous. This is amazing. Oh. He's literally right there. He's rubbing his face on a branch right in front of me. Guys, koala bears, wild koala bears. I don't know if Australians don't think this is a big deal, but I'm telling you, from people from other countries, this is incredible. Wow, I can just look at them all day when I'm really hungry. <laughs> they literally have like legs like little humans. Literally like climbing like a man. Oh, I'm so happy. So, I think our road trip's over. <laughs> We've peaked. We've peaked, we've done it, we've seen everything. So we stayed in this eucalyptus forest last night and yesterday to do some editing because um, there's no internet here guys <laughs> and it turns out it's much harder to procrastinate when you've got no internet. I went for a lot of walks. We gotta hit the road. Yeah guys, we've got a lot of ground to cover. Um, we're only at Apollo Bay and we've got to do the whole Great Ocean Road. Mm -hmm. So we gotta go. I'm always hungry guys. I'm always hungry and I need my second coffee and then we're going to take you on a little rainforest walk so I'm excited. Like a beautiful thing, deep breathing, listening, taking it all in. So we came from a beach and now we're in a rainforest. Yeah. <laughs> Australia is mental. It is and it feels very Jurassic, guys. Like, I literally feel like little dinosaurs are gonna come out around me. It's so beautiful. Also, this one has like boardwalks and stuff, it's got a path around it, so it's a good way for us to break in without getting killed by any of Australia's deadly things. Or lost. There's literally a path to follow, guys. Yeah. Well, this bench is obviously like that to stop anyone from getting bit by snakes. Actually. Yeah. Actually. 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 Do you think so? Actually. So that if there's any underneath it, they can't jump at me? Mm hmm Obviously, Keely has to look under. It's okay. No snacks. <laughs> Can I get in? <laughs> you know you want you to. Know I'm gonna. Whoa. Um, there's a lot of spiders. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Actual spiders? Just their webs. Cool. Pretty sure that's one of Australia's deadliest spiders right there. What? The funnel web spider. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah, I think so. And I was looking up at him. Yeah, it could have landed on your face. <laughs> and then you could got like necrosis on your eye. It's really cool seeing the layers of the rainforest. Yeah. So you've got all the shrubbery and the ferns at the bottom. And then you've got like the smaller trees that usually you can't see past, but then you get a glimpse of these like majestic trunks yeah. that are like sky high. Yeah. Looks amazing. So cool. So beautiful. Man. Australia is bloody awesome. It's so nice being out of the city. I'm back in the sticks. Let's go! Yeah. Guys, we're starting to think that koalas aren't as rare as we thought they were. <laughs> <laughs> Only in this region. Apparently this is one of the best places to see them. Bloody everywhere. 
Look at this. Man, Australia is pulling out all the stops for us. Yeah, it really is. On a darker turn, uh, we've seen a couple of roadkill kangaroos. I'm pretty sure that's the leg of a dead kangaroo in front of us. Oh, there you go, guys. Did you see it? Sorry, that's as graphic as you're getting. <laughs> we can't afford for this video to be demonetized. <laughs> So far, the Great Ocean Road has not disappointed. It's got so many beaches, rainforests, wildlife, you name it, it's got it. And the scary thing is, when I zoom out on my map, we're not even like a fifth of the way across it. And it's been a few days. So the place that we're at now is called Melba Gully. And we've stopped here for a very specific reason. We went for a little scout. It's another rainforest and it's beautiful. But when the lights go out and it gets dark, there's something very special that comes out. So right now we have a few hours to kill before it gets dark. So Keely has made some hot chocolate. Huh? Uh, I think we're gonna get some food and we're gonna do some work and chill out for a couple of hours and then we'll go see some stuff. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay guys, we're back and it's pitch black. <laughs> This could be very silly, but we're gonna go and try to spot these things. Reading the reviews of this place, I thought there would be a lot more people around. There's no way to hear. It's actually quite creepy. It's kind of scary. It is pretty creepy. It's not fully pitch black yet, so by the time we get to the bottom, it will be. I'm not sure how I feel about that. For context, this is what it looks like without a torch. Is this the path? I have no idea. Yeah, it seems pathy. <laughs> is this the path? Keely, this is so stupid. We're such idiots. We're such idiots. When we first came down here earlier, the sound of the rainforest was like thriving. Everything was happening. There were yeah, so, so many, many birds, birds and there was random animals. But like right now, it is dead silent. It's eerie, man. It is eerie. So it turns out rainforests are super beautiful during the day when you can see everything. But at night with the trees and the ferns kind of like towering over you, it's, it's creepy. creepy. <laughs> and it's, is it the full moon? <laughs> Keely, yeah. I see them. No, you don't. I see them. No, you don't. I 100% see them. Are you making a joke or are you nope. being serious? Are they actually here? They're, I, they're everywhere. I don't see them. They're everywhere. I don't see them. I'm going to turn off the light. Okay. I don't see anything. Come across here. Look at the wall. on your face. Guys, they're real. <laughs> Guys, there's glowworms. I don't even know what a glowworm is, but there's luminescent things in the earth. You yeah, I don't know them. if you'll be able to see them on camera, but let's try. Okay, guys. Um, you may not be able to see it because we tried really hard and it's not showing up well on camera. But I just want to say that right now, Philly, in this moment, even though no one else can see it, we are standing in a rainforest in Australia, surrounded by glowworms in the middle of the night. There's like glowworms all around us. And you just can't see them, guys, but I promise they're here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, guys, as much fun as that was for us. Billy, there's more glowworms beside us. There's glowworms along the whole path. There's glowworms along the whole path and no one can see them. <laughs> Guys, you're just gonna have to take our word for it that there's glowworms everywhere right now. Wow. You go? Yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> Maybe we could turn this into like a blur wet style thing. <laughs> Keely! No thanks, Billy. Where are you? No thanks. Keely? No thanks, Billy. Keely. No thanks. No thanks, Billy. No thanks, Billy. No thanks. No thanks, Billy. No thanks. Stop it! I don't like it! I don't like it! <laughs> Alright. Hi. 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 Do you see anything fun? Yeah, are you going to see the glowworm? Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Down by the water, like all along the path on wow. the side. Along the wall. You can see them. It's hard to get photos, but you can see them with your eyes. Great! Oh, very good. Nice. Thank you. Alright, no worries. Enjoy. We are glad that we are walking to a glowworm. Good luck!
Okay guys, that was very fun and very cute. <laughs> and on the way back up we seen like other people with their kids going down and all. It was and like a proper little glowworm community vibe. Yeah, it's just so cute. I just wish the footage was better for you guys. Yeah, it's just one of those things where uh, if you want to go see glowworms, you're going to have to come and see it yourselves. Yeah. <laughs> But for us, um, one, I need food because I'm hungry all the time. And two, we need to go and find somewhere with internet. Because Kelly's got tuition at 4am. Yeah. <laughs> I love how you're excited. Yeah. 